Before you paint your shed or fence, tie back any climbing plants or shrubs nearby. You may need to cover vulnerable plants to protect them. Look for any signs of damage, such as rot or a loose slat or trim. If you find any, fix these before you start painting. Use a medium to stiff bristle hand brush to give the surfaces a good thorough clean. If the surfaces are heavily soiled with dirt or algae, you need to scrub them with a diluted general purpose household cleaner. Then rinse with water and allow to dry. Some timber treatments are suitable for all types of wood. Others are only suitable for rough sawn timber. Check the manufacturer's instructions. We're going to be using this timber care product. It's rainproof in two hours and is recommended for rough sawn timber. To give you an idea of how much of this product you might need, this five litre tub should be more than enough to paint this shed or cover six fence panel sides. Read the guidance on the tub and check that the weather conditions are suitable. Always wear protective clothing, rubber gloves and eye goggles. If you're painting over a hard surface or a surface that you want to protect, put down a protective sheet. Flatten some old cardboard boxes and put them on top of your protective sheet as you paint. This will help to soak up any drops that hit the sheet. You'll need a shed and fence brush and a smaller paintbrush that you can use for cutting in and getting into corners. Use masking tape and newspaper to cover any handles, locks and windows so you don't need to worry about getting any paint on them. Stir the timber care thoroughly before use. First, try a test area to ensure that you're happy with the colour and to check that the product takes to the surface. Brush the timber care on evenly, working along the grain of the timber. Pay special attention to any exposed areas of end grain timber. The end grain is where rot is most likely to occur, so let the timber soak in as much of the timber care as it wants without starting to run off. Allow the timber care to dry. If a deeper colour is required, more coats can be applied. Under normal weather conditions, allow two to four hours between coats. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com.